is up guys, welcome to another video and today we've got yet another Need for Speed video. Now don't worry, I'm hearing your cries. Um, I've actually got a new series starting, starting up on Thursday called Throwback Thursday, obviously. I'm not going to leak too much about it, but I will let you guys know that it's a new series and we're going to be looking at some old games. And um, you know, those of you who don't like Need for Speed, you can actually watch. I know I, like every single video for the past two weeks has been Need for Speed, Need for Speed, Need for Speed. And I'm gonna, I am gonna diversify it a bit. Um, obviously, I don't want to get you guys tired of the whole Need for Speed thing before it even starts. Um, so let's just say, um, Midnight Club. Damn, son, that game. Let's just let, let's just keep it at Midnight Club. But you guys can speculate. But Throwback Thursday is coming on Thursday. So uh, yeah, you can look forward to that. But nevertheless, today is a Need for Speed video, so we're going to discuss pink slips. Um, this is something that I've wanted in a game for absolutely ages. Um, I don't think one game besides Juiced has really done pink slips right. And even then, I think Juiced had a few flaws which I would like to see, um, you know, pres like, just, just, I, I, I want to see those flaws, um, corrected in the next Need for Speed game and I want there to be pink slips and I'm pretty sure every single person here wants pink slips. I mean how cool would it be to race your friend um, you know online for pink slips RX-8 versus I don't know Camaro and if you lose it you get his car and you sell it and you, he never gets to see that car ever again. How cool would that be? I personally think that's a fucking cool idea. Um, so we're going to discuss what I think um, you know sh Pink Slip should include in Need for Speed 2015, and why they sh they deserve a place in a Need for Speed game for once. And I'm not talking Pink Slips where you can take the boss's car in career mode. I'm talking proper proper Pink Slips, like you put your car in and it's game over if you lose, and you can only do it so many times. I'm gonna talk a bit about it. I'm I'm, I'm gonna talk about it more in depth in a minute. So um, yeah, we should probably get into that now. Okay, so in my head, I'm thinking, okay, you go into a parking lot, and you have an option to do a either a wager or a pink slip. Now, obviously, the wager, um, you put down a bet on that race. So, say you wanted to bet five grand, everyone puts five grand in at the end, you come out with the winner, and the winner takes all the money. So, say if you have four players, they all put five, five grand in, the winner comes away with 15, um, and that's one way we can do it. Um, the other way I'm thinking of doing, uh, uh, they can do it is you have the option to pink slip. Now, to make this um, fair, there's, there should be an easy, medium, and hard option. So if it's easy, you should be able to uh, race a car, you know, without much ease, but the car won't be worth that much. You won't have many um, performance upgrades on, and that's that. Uh, medium, it should be in the middle. It should still be, it should still be hard, um, and the car should have moderate upgrades on. But I don't think it should be absurdly hard where you can't beat it. And then you should have hard where the car is fully upgraded. Every, it's got everything on it. It's got the rocket bunny kits. It's got the performance upgrades, um, and it's unbeatable. Like it's so hard to beat. You have to be a pro to beat that car. And if you lose, you actually lose your car. Um, I think this would a it would, it would add some add some risk and high, uh, high risk high reward to the game, and it's about time games start getting harder again. I'm not sure if you guys agree with me, but I think it's about time games actually get hard again. And I think if you had you know this pink slips kind of thing, at least in single player, where you could go from easy, medium, hard, that it could add a whole new dynamic. Now I do believe that they should only make this available. Uh, every five races, so every five races you complete, um, you own, say, you you um you unlock one pink slip token, or your pink slip meter regens, and then you can go into another one. Because otherwise, you can keep on going into the easy race, and you know you can just keep you can probably you could abuse that system. You know you could keep on giving get going into easy races. You could give a car to your friend, or you could just do something across those lines. Um, so I think they should make it so it's every five races. And now for the online system. I do think it should be invite only, and there should be a, a a lobby a lobby system. So basically, you go into the lobby. There's some guy with a car there. May you can have up to four people on is what I'm thinking in my head. Because imagine a four man pink slip. That'd be mad. Um, so you can you got up to four people in the lobby. Um, and they're like, oh yeah, we should do pink slips. And then after 10 seconds, no matter if you disconnect, no matter if what happens, um, you lose the car if you lose, and you never see that car again unless unless that guy wants to give you a rematch. Now, you know, like I said, there, there might be a few, a few issues. Say if you disconnect, that could be an issue. I do think that is a bit of a touchy topic because people can abuse that system. But as long as Ghost get it right, if you legit disconnect, then you shouldn't lose your car. But if you disconnect on purpose and you take the Ethernet cable out, then I think there should be a way around that. Um, I also think 
you know, hacking and modding and all that kind of stuff, that can be a slight issue because if people abuse the system, then, you know, it can end up in really unfair races. But if this system worked and it was balanced, and I'm, I can't imagine, you know, we'd see too much hacking, you know, if it was always online and it was more controlled, um, this could really work. You know, online pink slips, that's what I want. I want to be able to go into a, a lobby, you know, with one, two, maybe even three friends and put our cars on the line, you know. I, I want to be able to get my friends A86, win it, and then quick sell it. That's what I want to be able to do. That would be so fun. Uh, <laughs> like, just imagine the prospect of going up your best friend against your, your best friend. You know, he's in a Supra, and I'm in an R32, for example. Imagine winning my Midnight Purple R32 on Need for Speed 2015, you know, if that is possible, obviously. Just imagine that. That'd be mad to me. Um, so I really want to see that. Even if it's just against one person, even if it's single player, I'd love the multiplayer component. I think that adds something completely new to the game. But I want to see something like that. I want to see a pink slips mode in Need for Speed 2015. Do you guys agree? Yes or no? Maybe so. I don't know. <laughs> that that really rhymed as well. Um, if you do, if you guys did, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe. If you didn't, make sure to dislike and let me know what you didn't enjoy down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, yeah, subscribe and stuff. And I will see you later, guys. Peace.